before we get into the crazy that is the top eight. And crazy it will be because Pharaoh beats Marcus 2-1 to move in the top eight and of course going to face here up next. But we will find out who Leon plays. The uh, Whoever wins this plays Leon, so they're going to have quite, quite the time. <laughs> Yeah, and I have a good feeling this set between Delta Force and Jackal, I mean, depending on who picks Smashville here, uh, will be pretty much a control fest. You know, whoever can go to stage Smash with the projectiles and their aerial movement should be able to win the set pretty comfortably because I don't think we're going to get that much long combos. I think we're just going to get the short and sweet combos. Really need as Link. Oh, look at that down air spike trying to punish the Wolf Flash. Doesn't get it, but you can see the cogwheels turning in Delta Force's head when he's going for these kinds of edge guards. All right, you see more of a Revolt Bomb play. You do not find a Revolt Bomb into a Hero Spin, unfortunately. That's a forward smash punish. There, okay, that doesn't quite find it. So uh, we're just back to a stay away. Oh, the F2! No. That's really Revolt Bomb. Oh! Okay, he covered it perfectly. He had the bomb to high recovery, and then he nares for the low. Yup. And Young, uh, not Young Link. Wow. Uh, sorry, I play Young Link. But Link Nair is one of not the best Nairs in this game because it kills. It's a combo starter. It lets you escape from combos. You can end Jackal. Oh. Off, but that back you're gonna hit from Jackal. Yeah, Nair is literally gonna dictate this match so much. I mean, Nair is just the definition of Link's journey throughout the eras of the entire Zelda franchise. I mean, what has saving Zelda done for you in terms of that Nair? I don't know, man, but he wins. He wins from using that Nair, so... <laughs> I mean, we'll see what that happens here. Nair the down throw into the boomerang is shielded perfectly from Jackal. And yeah, this is turning out to be just as I expected for these two players. You know, stage control, obviously, but it's also like the short and sweet combos is what's mattering. Because straight hits are going to be everything. Wait, and force smash is not going to be enough. Right. Oh, and I love throwing that bomb down because it has an active hitbox as it's bouncing into that hero spin from Delta Force. But now off stage once again, what's he going to do? Good air dodge. Wow. It's caught out with that jump. Good stuff from Jackal to be able to read that. That air dodge was interesting because I was a little surprised I was not a hero spin on the B reverse side for Delta Force, but you know, oh. it makes up. Okay, but there it is right there. Yeah, so, yeah. Tries to get that mix up there, but unfortunately, just gets up in the back air, and that's just Jackal just now. His mission is just to take Oof. advantage of the soft lead that he has. And he and is that taking... up is not how you do it. Right, but 93% already dealt on the Delta Force's last arm. We're yeah. talking about make, making the most out of, you know, this lead. He has done it. Okay, yeah. That's what this is going really on right now. Jackal does another throw. There's a back throw. So we're getting much more of this knockback scary. And uh, we're getting to reflect uh -oh. remote bomb. This is really funny. Yeah, remote bomb <laughs> is like your best friend, yet your worst enemy sometimes. Oh, Ooh. that's a DI cross them, if anything. Yep. Gonna die pretty early to the back here. Of course, Envy looking for his fourth win against Jackal, as Jackal has this, uh, this, what's it called? Has won 24 out of the 27 sets that they have played. So Jackal has definitely had Delta Force's number, but a little bit of adjustment is all it takes, right, for Delta Force, because you get that first stock uh, with that Nair, and you're kind of hyped up, but then losing stocks pretty early against Jackal is just something you don't want to deal with. And this was, this was a really, really good F to send Delta Force once again off stage and getting a jump read. Crazy stuff from Jackal. And we're going to PSP immediately. Yeah, I wonder why Delta Force... I, now, now that makes me wonder who picked Delta Smashville out of the uh, RPS pick or advanced, or advanced pick. Or the pan pick. Quickly, whoever picked Smashville will either was happy about it and uh, forces the other player out, or they weren't happy about it. And then just went to PS2, right? Like, so... <laughs> Yeah, very interesting, because now you're given much, much more space to maneuver around, and especially in a camp, and zone out uh, if you're Delta Force, right? But that 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 laser that, that Wolf has, such a good... Uh, oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh! Forward air lands, not going to quite do it there, and the arrow's going to be just off the mark. Link needs to go back to archery class. Uh, uh, Link's crossbow training, everyone? <laughs> What a good game, by the way. Man, I love Zelda games, but I love this game too, as this game is on game two. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is. Four air catches the badge option there from Jackal. I'm not sure what it's like there. Okay, up tilt traded with something, but it doesn't matter what it traded with. Delta Force's up tilt was just stronger. Right, but will this be shades of game number one where we saw that Delta Force got the first stock, but then Jackal was able to. Back airs? 
Okay, oh. we get in there for everybody. Oh! Back. Oh, that was a lot of end lag. That was, but using that that boomerang to potentially lead up into a forward air, you know, combo. Then also getting that clash off the flank. Oh, oh speed! Bro's like, yeah, I know you're gonna roll. Goes for the dash attack, and it is a devastating move. Finally getting these nairs off. Finally getting what he wants. Finally, against Jackal. Oh, he flash. tries to wall flash spike, but that was just too high. Yeah, we're seeing Delta Force kind of start running away with this. Never mind. Uh, gonna be well, this could a be a little bit of a halt. Yeah, this could be a start to come after Jackal. It just depends on whether or not Delta Force can finish off the stock because. I, I don't want to be the person that says this because Shay's a lot. Okay, down smash, that's a nice combo. I don't oh, oh you have a jump! Cliche. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. I don't want to be the person saying this cliche, but you cannot let Jackal get around you for too much longer. You need to All finish right. him off. Yeah, and uh, it's it's what, what you have said is currently come to fruit. So. <laughs> I, I always say this is a cliche because it happens huh. way too often with that back Carolina for Jackal. We are back at even. I'm just saying, man, you're you're commentating first. Or I don't know. Honestly, it's been blessing because you've been correctly like predicting. No, that all was not things. a curse thing. I also like me being a commentator prediction. That's true, and it, and you were right. And right now you're seeing, even though Delta Force has the lead, you just can't give. Jackal the space whatsoever to think to finally get this download. Yeah, as I said in previous that's percentage leads don't matter if Jackal can get stage ah. control, but so far <gasps> okay that's it. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say for some reason I thought Delta Force was gonna go for an up beat. I don't know why my mind thought of that, but clearly I'm not Delta Force, right? So Delta Force winning that one uh the game two in a very nice fashion. I mean he had the lead the entire time, right? Didn't let uh, Jackal really get too much of what he wanted, even though that, you know, that second stock was a little bit scuffed from Delta Force. Uh, just finding that Nair, just finding that lingering hitbox off. That. Again, Nair is such an, an important pool because it just does that. <laughs> it just Jackal does run it back. Yep. He clearly saw something when he nearly got the cut back on Delta Force, but Delta Force did what I said he had to do, which was finish him off. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think if you did go for the up in that situation, I think you would have just thrown the set away. Definitely agree with that. Right okay, now. and now we're seeing more of this control action from Delta Force earlier from game one. It's like, Link gives us better, stronger projectiles here because, like, Wolf only projectiles the laser unless you're reflecting things with your reflector. Because uh, otherwise, Delta Force has like three projectiles: a rope bomb, boomerang, and arrows. And technically, four is actually want to count that as zero. True, the, the the little beam from that move—it's actually really good too. The Z percent, but also. It's just oh my really god! That's crazy. Yeah. I actually thought Jackal was gonna lose that stock, but he enforced he Delta Force unfortunately just could not find a landing whatsoever. Here we go with the forward air into the nair dash attack does not find the mark though. Mm. And we're back to stage control, which Jackal which loves to have. Yeah. Back to ground zero for both these guys. Really good parry into the hero spin to be able to punish. Not going to grab the bomb, and I like that, right? Just keeping it there, knowing that it's going to be there. Maybe going to go for it later. But when you don't rely on a move like that, and just finding different stuff like this, getting these... Whoa. Here's okay. take it. It worked. Hey, I was like, why are you throwing the bomb down there? And I guess it was just to catch a low recovery, but, you know... Getting that kill. Pretty in the back airs. Went to the nair at 30%. Now, this is oh the my part God. where Jackal needs to get back in this game. Jackal has been struggling when he's been at least not in stage control. I mean, obviously, any player that doesn't have his angel will struggle, but we're seeing this especially true with Jackal. And Delta yeah. Force is doing a good job in stage control. And this is what happens when you let Delta Force do what he wants to do, right? And just play the game. Uh, very, very slow, patiently, just staying on the ledge, right, and not really afraid of dying too soon because he has 57% that Nair might be Never it. Never bomb unless... here. Ooh. Nice. Oh! But that's blocked by the, that is caught by the forward tail. Yeah, he reversed that up B, which is very interesting. Didn't, maybe wanted to get a cheesy little kill, right? I mean, who can blame it? Any advantage you get on Jackal is always great. And now it's up to Jackal to even the set because Delta Force does have the capability to run away with the stock and take it as quickly as he can here. If Jackal can even this quick, this could be a set. Ooh, okay, gets the F tilt, but I'm gonna allow Delta Force to come back on the stage. His whole game plan, right, for Jackal is to wait for Delta Force to come back on the stage and then see what he does because for the most part, all of his kills have been getting back airs off of ledge or, you know, nairs that we saw earlier as well. So this is, this is the position that Jackal wants to be in. 
Yeah, he, Wolf is one of the best characters at less trapping, but now he gets less trapped in the reverse. Okay, we got another robot. I am oh, Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> okay, are we playing Smash Bros or are we playing tennis? Or hot potato, honestly. That, that potato is hot. Uh oh, I'm actually a little surprised that's not an up throw there. I thought up throw would have been. Okay, maybe it may be oh. range right now, but this is dangerous territory for Delta Force. You gotta get the stock out if you don't want Jackal to come back in this game. Might be, might be the range, but Delta Force is playing the range game. Here we go, um, that's it. There you go. Up, they're gonna take that stuff. And this is important now for both players. Jackal can even the set and take a lot of momentum if you take the stock right now, but if you don't, Delta Force just might oh! get back in the set. And there you go. Last stock, square one. Let's see who wins this. It's tight from both these guys. It is, and here's a down throw, dash attack. This is a classic. Oh, wow, what an up All right, we're getting back into the set right now. And uh, up, Smash wow. catches the back air. Jackal's gotten back into the lead. All right, and quite the lead at 87%. He's off stage once again. Not going to jump. Delta Force spotting out that read potentially. Gets the tech read with the up air. Gets the landing as well. Now, if you're Delta Force, you need to find this kill so soon. Gets the, gets the pivot grab. All right, send him off stage. Okay, here's the remote bomb getting into play. That's just the grab, and there comes another four. Throw up, we see the arrow, and we see the what? reset. That's no! gonna do it for another wolf blast for Jackal. That's his third one today. And that kill on I mean, four, four. Stage. Oh no, if you're Delta Force, you were so close. You were right there, and then Wolf Flash decides to come in and absolutely take everything away from you. Again, this get this game giveth and taketh away. Yeah, and I'm really sorry about my misconception. That was actually his fourth full flash that he's got to kill on. Yeah, I'm surprised that that even killed. So I don't. Live. Here's the thing: I don't think Delta Force was even expecting that to land at all, or even that option coming out. DI mixes can sometimes come from surprise. Yeah, no, definitely, and it's it's one of those things where it's like Delta Force was so in his head because of how well he was playing. He was playing super well, right? Like being able to condition Jackal was down by like 77% on the last stock in the last game, but then was able to get a few reads, get a few nares. But then again, I think Jackal with that positional awareness was just able to take that stock pretty comfortably. Uh, again, well, I wouldn't say comfortably. Honestly, I think he was fighting. He, <laughs> Jackal was given quite the fight by Delta Force, and you'll love to see it. Doesn't get his fourth win, but he was damn near close. Yeah, but so close can only go so far. Mm -hmm. And that's just because you. I hate this cliche personally, but people that. But you were close, but close is not good enough. It really is. Yeah. And again, it's like, it's not. It's not about how much damage you're able to rack up, it's about how many stocks you're able to take, how many games you're able to win. And there isn't an asterisk about effort, right? It's all about getting, you know, the the, the right grades. Get Oh, that was crazy, by the way. That freaking Wolf Flash to get that, that bomb. But yeah, it's never about effort. It's always about, you know, being able to capitalize. And Jack was able to do so. Yeah, and that's why he's still one of the best players in Tri-State, if not the best. I mean, obviously, I think Zampa's the best player in Tri-State right now. But here we go again. This is the interaction we are all waiting for. Yep, he just... Was not expecting it. Boom. Just dies for that. And that is, you know, that's all she wrote for that. Um, I don't know if we have any more sets for us. Uh, I think that might be it for us because uh, that was all of Winner's Top 8 done. Doesn't right. look like there's anything else for us to do. I think Will all we, we do loser right side. Oh, uh, no, we're getting we're getting note that it is it. And yeah, thank you.